Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm here with a follow-up video to my very first video that I had about this wall that you see here in front of you. So I've done a little investigation work and I have found that this building is actually this building. Look at that, eh? Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful building with the, all the antiquitec on top? We'll get into this this little later. So this is the St. John Customs House after, apparently, the Great Fire. So this is the building, and I'm going to show you the reasons why I believe that this is the, the same building as the wall that we sit here, see here. All right, so now we got this all set up here. So now you can uh, take a look at this wall is the front of this building. This street I'm, I'm standing on down here is called Water Street. The one up on the top here is Prince William, and I believe that this picture is being taken from up on Prince William, uh, maybe just on top of the somewhere where this wasn't. It looks like the could be some foundations that they had still there. The mainstream story tells you that this, pit, this here was all burnt down in the Great Fire in 1877. So this is uh, from the hill, looking down. They apparently built this after the Great Fire, so, or that's what they say. So the reason that I think this is th this building is the way the, the windows are laid out. So if you take a look at uh, all the mud flood windows here, so yeah, so you got two mud flood windows here and a staircase going in with no mud flood window. Then you got a set of three mud flood windows together then you got one mud flood window by itself. Then you got this, this giant door with uh, obviously no mud flood windows underneath it. And then you have this single mud flood window here. And then you have these three all together. And then you have a doorway and with no mud flood window. And then there's no mud flood windows under these two. And that's basically what you see here. So you have the two windows. Then there's no mud flood window because there's a door. The first door, this door right here. Then there's the three set of three, this set of three here. Then there's the single one. Then there's the spot for the giant door, this big giant door right in front. Then there's uh, the, the single one, the set of three. And then there's there would be the doorway again. And then there's no mud flood windows on that side. So I believe, you know, it, it looks exactly like the way that this is laid out, right? They say that this building was constructed in 1877 to 1881, right? And it was demolished in 1961. So, yes, the architect was the Department of Public Works. The St. John Custom House is one of the f largest public works buildings to be designed in the Second Empire style. The fact that two of the three ministries to be housed in this building were at the time headed by New Brunswick's representatives. Uh, these guys here you may have had some influence on the decision to build on such a massive scale. The local press, however, had no objections to this expensive monument and they proudly boasted that it was probably the finest customs house in America and second to very few in the world. Boom. Wow, eh? Designed in what was referred to as a free rendering of a classical style, it is characterized by a play of convex and straight roof shape. Favorite theme for public works designs. Because of the unusual length of the facade, two towers were added at each end to add visual strength to the corners. Okay, visual strength. What they tell us is that this one was the original customs house before the Great Fire. This guy was also this guy. You can I wonder what's going on here. Yeah, you can see the uh, the old, this is supposed to be the old one. It looks a little bit more functional, functional than the other one, but whatever, apparently this one was first and th this one was second. This is a picture of the original customs house burnt down in the Great Fire. This is 18, supposed to be 1877 when St. John had its Great Fire. So after this building burnt down, 
they decided to build this building, right? This beautiful, beautiful pe piece of work. Went from that to that. So this is the other side of it. And look at all the antiquitex still up there. Look at this. Uh, this is supposed to be a postcard. All these are from the museum, right? So they kind of tried to hide this antiquitex up there. So this is the view from Water Street. This is the view from the water. If you look closely, I'm sorry about the pixelation, but there you can see docks down here on the very bottom. So like this is literally, the boats would pull up and there was customs right there, right? The customs house. And you got this pretty crazy little thing going on there. The ball's up in the air and all the antiquitech is just happening, popping off. So yeah, so this is the front of this building. Yeah, just, yeah, right, the water's right up against it. And so yes, and this is what happened to the second customs house, the fancy one. Okay, so this is the customs house in its heyday, right? I'm assuming that it's right after they built it or right when all this antiquitech was still working so it wasn't able to get all rusty or maybe maybe while all this the energy was flowing through and it was creating the the process of it creating energy that it didn't rust maybe i don't know that's just a uh, pure speculation i'm just throwing that out there but it's got all this antiquitech the ball's on the bottom now right so this ball moves up and down right so yeah imagine this just imagine this on a beautiful sunrise or sunset the just glistening off of it like man look how beautiful that is what a beautiful building eh? this is it 1912 it looks so so old here right like the copper is just they turned off the antiquitech and now the copper is just pouring off of it all the this is just tinged all like looks like it's all tinged green from the copper how when when the copper roof uh, stained the concrete below it all green kind of looks like that to me but yeah it just looks like it's super super old i guess it, it would be 1881 is when it was built so it's 30 years old here and it looks like that <laughs> so and then i got this picture from this is supposed to be from the museum's website but this is supposed to be from uh 1950 so we got like a really sweet old car right there and if you really look it looks like the the building's still standing they they tore this down imagine imagine tearing down a building like that nowadays imagine the like dang near riots you would get from the historian stepping up saying this is look at this place you can't tear that down but the 1960s oh yeah just yeah, whatever just as after it burns you can just instead of rebuilding the roof and making and still using the rest of it instead of just refixing the roof and using the rest of this beautiful stone that's still here you just destroy it this is just an observation that i'm making this looks like they're just putting in electrical poles going down the street 1884 is when the city of saint john got its electrical power grid apparently or started having the infrastructure put in so 1884 and this burnt down in well, sorry, this was demolished in 1961, right? That's what this website here, 1961, it was demolished. 81 was built. So three years later, we're getting the electrical grid. And then, but it looks like in this picture that it looks like they're like just putting them in. Like there's none down this street. <laughs> you know, it doesn't go all the way down this street. There should be more poles here. If they're so close together here, why not all the way down? So this is that, that's the customs house, right? So I came walking along this street here, which is prince william and i walked down this way and i turned around the corner so i do believe that this is the spot that this wall is however i believe that this wall may be a little older now a little bit of a crazy idea i don't think the wall matches this wall this one either it's from i think it's from before both of them so we got this picture of this one here so it looks like this there's still a big staircase down and it's similar to this picture where there's kind of like it kind of starts to go down the hill they kind of made it a street if we have this picture here and we take a look at it right the sidewalk no matter what picture you look at however far back you go looking at any customs ho customs house here there's always a sidewalk laid down right dirt dirt roads but always a sidewalk so we look at this picture and a beautiful sidewalk but it's, it's a dirt road right it's always a dirt road and there's always a sidewalk all right so this is the new brunswick museum that's a little emblem this is their great fire website pictures right so this is the picture that we were looking at there where it all burnt down in 1877. So yeah, so it says that this picture is the view of the ruins after the Great Fire of the Customs House, Prince William Street, St. John, New Brunswick, 
877, right? So this is from Prince William Street of the Great or uh, of the Customs House after the Great Fire. This place burnt down. It's on a hill. Already got the already having the sidewalk laid down. Big hill going down, right? It's it's this level looks like it's already raised up higher than the than Water Street is basically what I'm trying to get. So and then you got this picture here which is almost the kind of the same angle of the new one. And this is looks like almost like the, not quite the same fence, but it's pretty similar fence, just a little old wooden fence. And it goes down, down that little spot. Instead of it being just like a little walkway, they now have made it open. I don't believe that this wall matches this one either. I believe it's from this building, but it's older. So let's get into that so we got this picture here of the side it's looking down the street and this would be the main level with water street so it has this big archway that goes all the way up to the top and all the way back down then we have this big archway that goes all the way up to the top and all the way back down and in those archways these windows are all squared off on the top right they got the window wells the archways come all the way up from the ground like they go all the way down right archways go all the way up and go all the way down like they complete the window like how it is on this style, right? You would think. So, when we take a look at the postcard here, we notice that this postcard, I'm sorry, it's all pixelated and can't make it quite small, too big. So this would be from, this is from Water Street, and we're looking at the opposite side of the building, the back end of it, right? The one that's facing the ocean, not up on Prince William Street anymore. These archways go all the way up, like the sides, right? Like all the way around the side. So it goes all the way from this side, that side, and then around the back, that around the other side that we were just at, looking down the hill. They go all the way up and all the way down and they're squared off. They're all squared off. So when you take a look at the wall, the bottom ones aren't square. These bottom ones aren't square here. This masonry that's here, this big, these big old blocks, I believe is our different building than this. Because if it was the same, then it would this window would be square. This one would be square, not oh, not arch. They would make it to match all the windows that go all the way around. They wouldn't pull three side square windows on the bottom, and then the front have arched windows. So I believe that these are original before even this building, before this street was all filled in. When these, when they were laying these blocks down to make this like when when this was once a window it had an art to it these don't <laughs> i hope you kind of get that these windows just don't match up with like the the main level windows on this side don't line up with the one on any of the other sides and the other three sides they're all square on on the bottom levels it's only the top two levels that they're arched that means that the original ones where the original level was so you see this picture here and then you look closely and you have these big old blocks that go down boom 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 all the way down they go down now is that those big huge blocks that we're looking at is that these big blocks that we're looking at going down going down the hill boom 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 going all down this little hillside and they just kind of built off of those i don't know it's a little food for thought but if you want to get a little deeper just look at that building right or look at that block right there i'm going to take you for a little trip it's not going to be a long one like last time but this is back to the high school that's up on top of prince william street that is i think has clear signs of mud flood but uh we can chat about that but look at these guys are those the same giant blocks as the ones down on the wall there to me it looks like those are the same giant blocks like there this could be another deep foundation like look at this this is all the way up to my hip bone i'm six foot tall this is all the way up to my my hip and these block these big giant blocks are all the way around does that do, do those blocks look like those blocks from this ancient foundation that we have sitting over here? I think they look almost identical. Look how big that block is. All one big block right there. It's poured over this archway. And if we go back to the video, look at the size of those blocks. They look the exact same. Those little, but yeah, look at all those. Look how big they are. They cut them out so they like fit interlock in the corners. And it's pretty wild, man. Like that's the same foundation that's across the street is up on top of this hill. So if we go back to my pictures here, this picture. So... I'm walking across.
across the front of this school over here. And they got big giant blocks exactly the same as these giant big blocks on the bottom of here. Is that an older foundation underneath there? Did they go down? Did they have arches on the bottom too? Who knows? So I found this website that had, that will just shoot back up here on the top for it. It is the Canadian Historical Website uh, Occasional Papers in Archaeology and History, number 24, second empire style in Canadian architecture. Here is the hall from Montreal, uh, constructed in 1878. Then we got the new Louvre, Paris, France. Are these looking familiar? Uh, constructed 1857. Well, then you got here uh, one in London, London, England, constructed in 1853. Then you got another one here, another one in London, England, 1857. Then you got, uh, wow, look at this one, eh? Ain't that, ain't that beautiful? <whistles> City Hall in Boston, 1865, that was built, right? And then you have, look at that one, wow, that's, that's pretty huge. Washington, D.C., 1887. And then you have uh, Pennsylvania, Pottsville, 1877. Then you got Tirana, my hometown, straight out the Lake Show, constructed in 1878 and demolished. Yes, just demolished. No, no clue of when, just demolished. And then you got the Parliament Hill, or sorry, you got the, yeah, Parliament Hill in Ottawa, right? And that, my friends, has clear signs of mud flooding. You say, what, Chris? I will show you then if you ask. So, type in Google, you type in center block, like in French. Yeah, this is going to show you the Parliament Hill. Oh, we're going to click on this guy in the Wikipedia, because they don't even bother trying to hide mud flood. Just right in your face. We're just going to go and scroll down. So, we're looking at all this crazy architecture, just wild, eh? Just a beautiful, beautiful place. Hey, look at all that, wow. You know, like... Okay. Like, what's going on there? Look at that. Right? Oh, is that a... Uh, is that a griffin down there? Tartarian action? Hmm? We got the lions up on the top? Alright, so then we're gonna keep going down the history part of it, okay? So this is the picture that they give you. Boom, right? Okay, so this is the really old picture. And it's like, oh yeah, this is how... This is the really, really old one, you know? This is the oldest one that we have. This is how it was originally built. But, it says how it appears in... 1916, right? So, they're saying that this is how this is originally built. But, when you look at this picture here, and you have this whole field, like it's all level kind of here, right? And then there's steps going up to the big front door. It's a giant, giant front door, right? Like, look at the size of that. Like, look how big that door is, right? Then, it's all fairly level along here, and you got a doorway right here. We got these doors that are here, right, on the either side, and it's like, it's all the same style, right? They have the building, the construction picture is this one. Now, tell me, where are those doors? Look at, where's the step down in front of the Parliament Hill? There's, look how small this doorway now is, right? It looks like a normal person could just walk right through that little archway there. But before, it was a lot deeper. And then, yeah, like this guy's little doorway here, but it looks like it's all inundated with mud. So now this, this picture, they tell us, is it under construction in 1863. So they tell us in May of 1859, public Department of Public Works, again, for the province of Canada, sent a call for architects to submit proposals for the new Parliament buildings to be erected on Barrack Hill. I'm not quite certain what kind of construction practices require you to build a structure from the foundation up and then once you're built maybe three quarters of the way up that you want to go, you bring in a whole bunch of dirt and bury your foundation and doorways into the place. Like this is a dude chilling right there. That's another dude sitting right there. Like this is all inundated with mud. That you, you fill it all up with mud and then I guess what? You can bring in your trucks and cranes and stuff and they get a little bit higher, reach a little higher. I'm not quite certain with a building practice like that. Like it's just uh, it's just a little, little kind of a little crazy, right? Like that's the Parliament Hill being inundated in my eyes. So we're gonna jump back to where we were before. Back to here, so we're gonna do the Parliament Hill thing. And this was, and they were done by 1865. 
and then demolished in 1960. And then we got down here, we got the government house in Triana again, 1870, demolished 1912. You're getting a little a theme what we do here in Canada with our second empire architecture, right? Here's the customs house again, 1877, demolished, or 1961. Keep on cruising down here. London, Ontario, constructed 1874, demolished. Yeah, you know, we just don't tell you when it was. Right, so the plans, I guess, of it. They didn't quite want to build it exactly with the plans. Uh, there's a post office in Toronto on Adelaide Street and it is 1874 it was built and demolished 1960. <laughs> it's a little bit of a theme, eh? Like Ottawa, 1876 it was constructed, 1938 destroyed. Uh, let's see, Montreal, 1876 demolished. Uh, Alright, see. Toronto's Customs House on Front Street, because Front Street used to be right on the lakefront. It was constructed in 1876, just demolished 1919. Here we go again. Constructed 1874, demolished whenever. Custom House in Vancouver. Oh, that's still standing, maybe. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it could be still standing. So it's constructed in 1875 by the Department of Public Works. All over the country, they're all being built 1850 and 1880. And a lot of them get demolished. Guelph, Ontario, 1878, demolished, whenever. Custom House in St. Jean, Quebec, 1880, demolished. And then there's the Windsor, Ontario, 1880, demolished. 1883 in Winnipeg. Pretty nice little place. 1920. Demolished. Quebec City, Quebec. Constructed 1887. All these buildings being all built right at the same time. All over the all over Canada. Ooh, Frederick, maybe I'll Fredericton, New Brunswick. Maybe I'll try and see if I can make a run up there if that's still built, still around. And you guys can get in. I just wanted to I just wanted to show you that all of these buildings are all fairly similar to this kind of style of architecture, right? So when you look up some of these pictures of this building, of the, our customs house, this one is said to be from the 1892, and it's burnt down. So this is McCord Museum. So this build, this picture was eight, maybe you saw it earlier with the customs building way off in the background. It's 1950. So who who knows what's going on with the storyline, uh, going on with the timelines here? Oh yeah. So this this whole this is just an old picture of St. John, but this whole thing here with ball. Look at this thing right here. Now. They have this on here, and this is this is a just a random article that I found about St. John. So it says, the Marvelous Time Ball. Uh, by 1870, the remaining original fortification had disappeared from Fort Howe. In June of that year, the newspapers celebrated the completion of an observatory on the site. A state-of-the-art building consisted of two wings with a skylight and a 20-foot tower from which a state-of-the-art time ball was suspended. Now obsolete time signaling device consisted of a large metal ball dropped daily at 1 p.m. allowing the navigators of ships in the harbor to set their marine chronometers. Look at that, huh? So this is, they just put this on this little thing in in 1870 so it's on here sorry 1884 or whatever 81 when it's completed right 1870 it's on this an impressive idea except fort howe was too isolated and hilly for workers to maintain the device and ships in the harbor couldn't see the positioning the position of the ball the time ball was moved to the customs house on prince william street and the observatory too 18 they built this thing and it didn't work for what they wanted it to work what was this thing originally for could this have been to harness energy and it was here supplying power to something fort howe they couldn't get it to work so they decided to move it to here and then on this big thing on this big antiquita could work so in st john in 2014 they removed a 
50 year old tunnel that it, uh, it runs underneath the surface of Prince William Street. It connected, it's, sorry, it's a 1.8 meter tall tunnel and it connected the old post office building to the Revenue Canada building and customs office block away. So hooked up all those, all those three. This uh, gentleman, the tunnel once carried pipes from a single plant that heated all three buildings, but now is simply in the way, says Kent Tate. It, it was built really, really rugged back in the day. It's not used for anything. It was probably a central heating thing, okay, where there was a boiler in one building that fed the other. Now, there is nothing in it. So there was nothing in it. In the middle of the road, it takes up a lot of room. So they're rebuilding the city and they find this old tunnel. Could this have just been buried tunnel? <laughs> Why does it have to be heated between these things? I don't know. It's just interesting because there's, there's tunnels under the ground all over the world. Just a little article about it. And so it's interesting too. You will find on websites, they'll show pictures like this and I'll say customs building before the Great Fire. This threw me off. This threw me for a loop. I was like, why? everywhere I looked, it's this was the one that burnt down in the Great Fire. But really, it was this one that burnt down in the Great Fire. This one burnt down in a separate fire later. Very, very confused because you have pictures like this where it's like, okay, this building burnt down. Everywhere tells you the great fire but but apparently it was built afterward so see you look at this picture right this picture was taken in 1898 so it's like it's supposed to be really 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 new wow eh? like i hope this shed a little light on what this might be and hopefully we can maybe try and find out what the original foundation was of this place i also like to say thank you to everybody for all the positive feedback from my last video it was amazing uh show it's a static in the attic for giving me a shout out keep rocking your thing man you're, you're doing it man it's it's amazing every video i'm yeah shout outs to everybody and thank you and much loves to everyone thanks